What's up guys, this is P Sensei. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to put an organizing app on your DS flashcard. All right, the app's called DS Organizer, and on it, you can uh, look at the time, you can set a calendar, it has a built-in calculator, also has a built-in web browser, but I wouldn't get your hopes about that since the DS scene is kind of dead, so there's not really much you can do with that. But it does allow you to connect online, so if you don't have a Wi-Fi enabled game, you can actually use this to connect online, which is very cool and um, will be very helpful for the next tutorial that I will do, which is how to back up your DS games. But anyway, <clears throat> let's get right into it. So as always, you're going to need a DS system. Um, it could be a DS, DSi or 3DS, all of them will work. You're going to need a flash card. As always, I'm rocking the R4 dual core SDHC. Micro SD card, which you should already have if you've been following my other tutorials, and a way to plug that into your computer. If you got all this perfectly set, just put it your micro SD card into your adapter, plug it into your computer, and I'll show you guys what to do next from there. Okay, after you put your micro SD card back into your computer, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to the web, to the website I provide in the description, dragonmita.com slash ndsdev slash dsorganize, and we're gonna to come to the DS Organize homepage. Click right here on the main link. All right, it will be a zip file. Save it anywhere you want. I'm gonna save it on the desktop. All right, after it's done, you get the zip file, extract it, and then you can delete the zip file and you should be left with this folder right here. All right, bring out your flash card all right, open up the folder and drag all these files. You don't have to drag the text files, just drag all these files over to the root of the SD card. Give it some time. All right, and that's literally it. Now, close out all your windows, eject your SD card, and I'll show you guys what to do on your DS. Okay, after you've taken your micro SD card out of your computer, go ahead and put that back into your flash card, and then go ahead and put that into your DS system. And then you can go ahead and turn it on. Okay, go over to your games folder. And you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna just go to YS menu since I prefer it. You don't have to, of course. And then go over to the dsorganize.nds and select it and start it up. And here we go. As you can see on the top right here, uh, we have the date and time. Uh, we have to-do list right here, a day planner and a reminder. And uh, right now it's blank, but if you wanted to set that up, and this, as you can see in the bottom, we have calendar, just where you can change the date, view the day, you can add reminders here as well. The day planner, throughout your day, you can set up reminders for different things. The to-do list, um, go ahead and add stuff to remind yourself to do things. Address, you can go ahead, add addresses, uh, first name, last names, phone number, address, cities, emails, things like that. Scribble pad, um, just call this demo, confirm, and you can draw, do a bunch of different cool things, add a text box. You know, a bunch of cool different things you can do. And it will actually save this to a picture file format. Um, the default is PNG, so I think that's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and go back. We have a file browser. You can view all the files on uh, your card, although you should normally be already be able to do this with your, with your flash card, so this isn't really anything new. And then we have a calculator. So I'll just do nine plus six equals, you can see 15. Basic calculator also has sine, cosine, tan, 
a bunch of different things. So that's pretty cool. And um, we also have IRC, web browser, and homebrew database. Now, none of these <laughs> work very well. You can go ahead and try them out. Um, but before you do that, you need to actually configure your Wi-Fi network. And the cool thing about this is, well, let's just go over the basic settings first. Uh, you can change language, uh, date format, different things here. You can go ahead and change them as you please. Just show you them real quick. But the part we're really interested in is the far right. And that is the Wi-Fi mode. Now we have two Wi-Fi modes. We have DS Organize and we have firmware. You wanna be on firmware. And what this will actually do is this will actually um, set up your Wi-Fi for your official Nintendo Wi-Fi settings. So if you go to any Wi-Fi enabled game and you go to the Wi-Fi settings, this is the same exact thing except just looks different. So if you, um, let's say you don't have a Wi-Fi enabled game, but you need to access the internet or change some settings, you can actually do that from this app. And that makes this app super useful. And since um, I'm gonna be showing you future homebrew apps which require Wi-Fi, um, this app will be very useful in case you don't have a Wi-Fi enabled game. So very cool. Um, yeah, as far as the web browser um, uh, and stuff works, um, haven't really got those to work very well. The homebrew database doesn't show anything. The IRC does show something, but uh, yeah, nothing really important there. So anyways, that will do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see some more um, DS homebrew, uh, go ahead and check out the other videos on my channel. And uh, with that, peace.